Actually, when I did The Departed, uh, I was I was in this rehearsal in pre-production, and it was just me and Jack Nicholson and Scorsese. <laughs> and we had a few hours together, and at one point, Marty got up to either use the bathroom or, or have a cup of coffee or something, and, and it was just me and Jack in the room. <laughs> and he turned around, <laughs> and he goes, you know, I never would have made it this far in my career if I wasn't a great fucking writer. <sighs> Really? Yeah, out of out of nowhere, and really? it was the most. And I went like, and it re and it was like everything clicked into place. And I went, yeah. of course. Like, how do you have a forty year career, right, uh, without being able to put your own kind of imprimatur on something, or you know, right. understand, fix it, yeah, fix it, or not, or not touch a comma of it, right? And, you know what I mean? And, he knew and, it, and be more often right than wrong. It's like it's because he was a great writer. I'll give you one story. I, I mean, I've probably told you this because it's one of my favorite. It was my favorite thing that happened on The Departed about a scene that I was not in, but. But he was, and the scene said, it was one-eighth of a page, and it said, Costello, which is the name of his character, Costello executes man kneeling in the marshes, mm -hmm. right? So you go, okay. Now, if you, uh, most people look at that and they'll go, all right, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be one shot. You know, that's going to be, be uh, an hour of work, and, mm -hmm. uh, and that's all I'm doing that day or whatever. He, he looked at that, and he goes, okay, I can do that, but I think I can make it better.